I don't cook, I don't clean, but let me tell you, I got this ring. Gobble me, swallow me, drip down the side of me, quick jump out for you, let it get inside of me. I tell him where to put it, never tell him where I'm about to be. I'll run down on the bar, have a nigga running me, talk your shit. Painting the saddest little guy you will ever see. If you are sad already, I would recommend clicking away to another video. Someone abandoned this defenseless creature on a small little island. It'll be okay buddy, it'll all be over soon. The tide will come in quick and then the, the sharks will come in quicker. It's alright to tell me what you think. About me, I won't try to argue or hold it against you. I know that you're leaving. You must have your reasons. The season is calling. You're I was enchanted to meet you. I was running far away, would I run off the world someday? Nobody knows, nobody even knows I was dancing in the rain, I felt to love and I can't complain But no, take me home, take me home where I belong I can't take it anymore frontal lobe removed as part of a necessary procedure in 2016, and ever since I've tried my best to detail his thoughts through paintings. Today he told me that in the forest near our house he saw a 15 foot tall glebus consuming a small creature, but when he got closer it was actually just tending to the creature's wounds and their good buddies. I had absolutely no idea what he was talking about.
sunshine. I lay on the high tops, slam dunk, ready or not. Yeah, show me what you got. I'm under the spotlight. How dare you come on and follow? You dance to your own beat, and I'll sing the melody when you say yeah. I'll say no when you say stop. All I wanna do is go go go. You. Para el reto de hoy quiero enseñaros una técnica que me he medio inventado, pero bueno, queda muy, muy chulo el resultado. Lo primero que hay que hacer es coger una hoja y dibujar lo que sería la silueta de la ciudad, tal que así. Ahora recortamos lo que sería la parte de abajo. Pegamos eso al papel y con unas acuarelas y una esponja vamos a ir dándole toquecitos por toda la silueta. Voy a estar dándole con varios tonos de azul. Luego retiramos el papel, hacemos unos detallitos, salpicamos un poco y queda tal que así. This is why you should be very careful who you talk to online. A 16-year-old girl was home with her mom when she got a disturbing text message from a boy she had recently met on Snapchat. He told her he was right outside of her house, but when she went to look, no one was there. Frightened, she decides to sleep in her mom's room that night, and right before she goes to bed, she gets another text from the boy that just says, I'm in your house. She shows her mom, who immediately searches the whole house, checks every door, turns on every light, there's no one there. So even though they're creeped out, they go back to bed. The next morning she gets up and she goes back to her bedroom and immediately feels like she's being watched. She checks in her closet, looks behind her door, there's no one there. Then she noticed that the shoe boxes she normally kept perfectly arranged next to her bed had been moved. So she crouches down to put them back in order and then out of the corner of her eyes she notices something. The boy who was texting her was- I got pulled over today and the cop comes to my window and goes, uh, license, registration, and proof of insurance. And I look at him, I say, officer, I don't have my license on me. I don't have my registration. And I don't have any proof of insurance. So then the cop looks at me and goes, and why the hell were you speeding? I caught you going 90 and a 65. And I look at him, I say, officer, the reason I was speeding was because I just killed my girlfriend. I chopped her up and I put her in my trunk. So the cop backs off my window, says, listen, boy, wait right here. And he calls every cop in the area to come look at my car. So my car is now surrounded by cops and the chief of police does a whole check. He checks my trunk and all he finds is a backpack. So then he comes to my window. So the chief of police comes up to my window and says, listen, the officer who pulled you over said you had no driver's license, no proof of insurance, no registration, and that you just chopped up your girlfriend and put her in the trunk. But when I looked in the trunk, all I found was a backpack. I found nothing. And I look at the chief of police and I say, yeah, I know. This lying son of a bitch probably told you I'm speeding too, right? <laughs> Napakabuti at napakakinch na Na ano? Ayusin mo sa sampaling kita Binibining Clay Kung ano man ang nakita sa'yo kanina Ay wala ka dapat ikay Na isa kang babaeng karapat dapat hangan ทุกคนวันนี้มีเรื่องจะมาเล่าเรื่องของเรื่องก็คือเราอะอยากวาดลูกคนใช่ไหมแต่เราไม่รู้จะวาดใครเว้ยเราก็เลยแบบเออวาดตัวเองไปเลยละกันเนี่ยทุกคนเดี๋ยวเราจะขึ้นรูปนี้แหละ
เอาจริงๆนะมันก็มีความยากอยู่เหมือนกันนะทุกคนเพราะว่าเวลาเราวาดอะเราจะไม่ค่อยอยากให้มันเหมือนแบบมากเกินไปอยากให้มันมีความแบบเลอะๆนิดนึงอะไรแบบเนี้ยเนี่ยแล้วพอเราเติมเติมไปอะผมมันเริ่มดําขึ้นนะทุกคนมันเริ่มเหมือนภาพต้นแบบมากขึ้นจากตอนแรกใช่ไหมที่มันจะเป็นแบบคาบๆเป็นสีอื่นโปนๆเนี่ยอันนี้คือมันดําไปเลยอะตอนแรกเราว่าจะไม่ทํารูปนี้ต่อแล้วเพราะเรารู้สึกว่ามันพังไปแล้วใช่ปะแต่ทีนี้เราก็นึกขึ้นได้ว่าเออเดี๋ยวเราเอาสีไม้มาแบบเติมๆแก้ๆเงี้ยมันอาจจะโอเคขึ้นเนี่ยแล้วพอเราเติมๆไปอะเฮ้ยมันโอเคขึ้นจริงนะจากตอนแรกที่ผมแบบมันดำๆใช่ไหมตอนนี้มันก็ดูมีสีสีสันขึ้นมาโอเคอยู่นะเป็นหลักสูตรนะคะวงการวงการวงการแต่งงานวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการวงการ The family leaves the house and stays with relatives in hopes that they'll catch this guy before they have to go back. But after a few weeks, they haven't caught him. There aren't any leads, and they say, "You know what? We'll go back to our house anyways." As the family's pulling back into their driveway, the father looks up at one of the windows and sees, for a split second, the head of the man with the dress in their bedroom. They call the police, who go in and find pennies glued to the ceiling and weird writing all over the house, but they can't find this crazy guy until one of the officers found a secret crawl space in the basement. Where psychotic killer Danny Laplante had been living for two months. 